for it. So you asked for it, right? So um, I built this burnout quiz um, just to see if I could use a Rive animation and put it into storyline and make it look like it really wasn't an e-learning module. And to be able to do some variables back and forth. So let me walk you through the project really quick. Um, so I'm not going to read every slide to you. Um, I will post the link down in the description. But as we go through this, uh, this project, if we hit uh, next through the intro until we get to the actual quiz, this is an actual quiz that I got from Mind Tools, um, and I've adapted it here. Um, so you've got four different, I'm sorry, five different uh, answers here. And just so that you can get the gist of what goes on, I have an animation running in the background, and each one of these assigns a, uh, a variable. And so for the sake of seeing the animation um, in this little spark, let's hit very often um, all the way through. So you can see that we're just kind of trailing through this whole thing. And as we go through, you'll notice that this guy um, definitely gets smaller as time goes on. So keep watching over here. Now he's even smaller. Um, so you can see that he's still animated, uh, but he's smaller and he's sad. We're going to keep going. And now he's at his smallest level. So um, you can tell that he's all the way small. And then it goes on to um, walk you through the rest of the course. So the other piece that I have in here is this um, assessment here. So this is a multi-state button that then takes that same um, local variable and it displays uh, whatever outcome that we want. So we can have this look like or be anything here. And then you get to the end um, and you can start the whole quiz over. Um, so once you hit restart, it resets all the variables and you'll notice that this character gets big again. So let's walk you through um, just some of the, the variables in some of the JavaScript that's within the storyline file. Um, so we'll open up storyline here. And you can tell um, right here, I do have a screenshot of the animation. And I use this so that I could um, kind of line everything up. The way this animation works, and I've used Rive for this animation, um, but the way this works is it actually gets encoded into your um, HTML file. Um, and I do have an article on how that's all done as well. And I'll post that down in the description as well. So you'll see on these other slides, they don't have anything on them, but this is what the main slide looks like. On this main slide, we have a couple things going on. Um, so first, we set a variable, uh, which is a local variable called burnout. Um, and we set that variable down to a zero uh, when you click on this text box. And so I've done this in a couple different places just to make sure that the user will actually click on this. I also um, have it jumping to the next slide. So it's super important um, that you do these things in order from top to down or top to down, top to bottom. And it's important because if you set your variable after you jump to the next slide, um, you're not setting your variable. So always set your variable first. Um, and then um, I've also got a text box here. Um, these can actually be deleted. Um, I just didn't. I made this uh, project super fast. So um, the JavaScript, let me give you a little peek on the inside of this JavaScript. Um, and so you can get this as well from uh, my link in the description. Uh, but you can tell that going through this, it actually goes into Rive's state machine. 
um, and then it sets a value to zero for your animation. So that's super important. So your value of zero is a uh, is the first stage of your spark or, or of your character. So really this I value is the most important piece in this whole thing. The rest just tells it where to, where to send that variable to. All right, so that happens on this first slide. The second slide, um, I have nothing going on. And then we're gonna go all the way down here to slide number five. And on this slide, this is where I put these buttons in. These buttons, um, actually this entire quiz is not built as a quiz. So I did not use uh, the built-in quiz functionality um, inside of Storyline. You absolutely can. Um, I just didn't. So I created each one of these buttons and they're just individual buttons. And you can tell that on this page, when uh, the page loads, you have, and you'll see this on every one of these quiz pages, um, you'll have four different actions. And so what this does is it looks for our local variable, which is a uh, burnout, it's called burnout. Um, it looks to see if uh, burnout is in between 33 and 39. When it is, it executes a JavaScript. Uh, if it's below 32, so from zero to 32, it executes another JavaScript. If the burnout's between 50 and 59, it does yet another JavaScript in 60 and 65, another JavaScript. So let me show you just really quick the differences between those. So each one of these I have set at different levels to make sure that um, that Spark character actually changes. So this top JavaScript, you can see that it sets a value of one. This next one here is a value of zero, so below 32 is zero, so zero, one. The next one um, would be in between 50 and 59, um, so you go from 49 to 50, right? Um, and so this JavaScript is two, and then the last one is obviously three, right? So they are three different stages, and I have them set up in Rive to change that particular um, animation based off of that. So it reads the JavaScript. Uh, obviously on this first slide, there's nothing, uh, but for the sake of making everything the same, um, that's how I designed the first slide. Each one of these buttons, um, so for button number one, which is the not at all button, um, I have it at a value of one, to my burnout score. Um, and then it jumps to the next slide. For button number two, I have it um, increase that value by two. So that is even higher. Um, three does it by three, four does it by four, five does it by five, um, and then that's it. So every one of these pages, and I set this up on purpose, so I designed this page first and built the logic in this page, and then I just duplicated each one of these slides, and as I go through, I did add a little progress indicator. You may have noticed that um, the little fire, pixelated fire things, keep going across the screen. Kind of gives you a little bit of feedback as you go through. But each one of these are set up the same way in your triggers. Nothing else changes. And so these add up all of your, uh, your quiz answers. Then as we get all the way down here, this slide number 22, um, it actually has a multi-state button. You remember that I talked about that just a little bit ago. This multi-state button, um, when we click on that, we look at the states. 
um, you can see that each different state, and I built the, these um, kind of the same way. Um, in fact, if you, I think, nope, these are images actually. So I built each one of these images in um, either Figma or Adobe XD. Either one of those will work or even uh, Adobe Illustrator. And so I just laid them out as button one, two, three, four, five. So when we get to this page, um, I still have it triggering these different JavaScripts for my character that will be on screen. But then um, if we come down here, we're going to change the state of this, um, of this <laughs> button or this picture to different states depending on what that burnout number is. So you can be uh, normal uh, with no signs of burnout, which I don't know why that's normal. That's the default one. Or uh, very severe risk of burnout, which um, I think a lot of people that I know actually went through and they got the very severe. Um, comment below and uh, tell me what you got. Um, just kind of interested to see. Um, so beyond that, that is all all that I set up in this entire project. If we go to the very end, when we click on restart, you'll also notice um, that when you click on this text box, it sets that burnout number again to zero. So it sets everything back up to zero so that when it goes to that first slide again, um, it's reset the entire quiz. Um, kind of a cool project. Um, I'd love to hear what you think. Um, I'll post links down below uh, with even the storyline file. And with that, have a great day and uh, enjoy building learning designs.